We're here with Angela Booker, assistant professor at the UC Davis School of Education, and her track at DML 2014 is going to be on Beyond Youth Voice, uh, examining demand and opportunities for increasing social change through transforming adult youth and systems. So uh, that's a mouthful, uh, and it sounds sounds like uh, a big goal. What what's exciting about your track, and what what do you hope happens there? Well, I think the most exciting thing about the track is that it's extremely open because it's trying to push this discussion forward. We spent a lot of years really looking at youth voice, what is it, how does it work, what kinds of programs exist uh, that promote it, and what does it yield, what are the outcomes. And so we have a really positive sense about how valuable it is to develop media with youth, to bring forward their voice, to see what they have to say, to respond to it. Uh, what we haven't spent a lot of time on yet is what we do now. And so I was given the opportunity with this track to really think about writing a call that allows us to invite all kinds of conversations into the picture. Um, I talked with a colleague of mine, and one of the points that she made to me was, you know, people are talking about youth and they're talking about digital media in a lot of different fields. And one opportunity we have here is to really bring together an interdisciplinary group uh, to have conversations that really help us think about, well, what are the ways that you're thinking about this that, that I haven't thought about this? And so, for instance, uh, we're really interested both in interdisciplinarity among practitioners, so whether you're a youth development person or service learning person or youth activism person, can we bring those groups of people together to have dialogue uh, and debate? Um, or from uh, a more academic perspective, uh, you know, what do we have to hear from the sociologists who are studying social movement or the anthropologists or learning scientists who are thinking about these different notions of change and learning for youth uh, over time? So we're really trying to encourage lots of uh, intellectual collisions, if you will. Um, and, and a lot of ways uh, for digital media and learning as a conference, uh, we bring together a lot of uh, very experienced and enthusiastic uh, practitioners and researchers in this field. Um, we don't always have uh, the critics present, and there are a number of critiques that have been uh, levied, not only around the uses of technology, but sort of what are the real opportunities uh, for youth voice to push change. And so I think that there's an opportunity here for us to draw together uh, both the relevant critiques. What do we think are the critiques that we need to take up as a community? Um, what, what's valid about them to us? And perhaps why haven't we taken them up yet in, in quite as direct a way? Um, another area for us to consider is uh, if we step a little bit back from Youth Voice and we think about what Youth Voice might hope to affect, uh, then we have to ask ourselves, well, who has to be uh, changing and in response to the things that we're hearing? And when that happens, we start to have some diverging viewpoints. Um, as, as we get to those divergent points of view about how to do what we do, what's important about what we do, uh, and how we might find that change sort of seeping into systems or maybe innovating new kinds of systems for participation and democratic practice, uh, I think we'll uh, really start to shape with this track uh, a new, um, almost an agenda, a collective collaborative agenda that might not be in complete agreement, but certainly will help us see what is the direction of this work for the coming five to 10 years? Um, what do we have to say next now that we've established that uh, the value of this work is uh, certainly uh, supported in the literature and supported by what we're hearing from uh, practitioners and youth in their work? Um, and one thing I haven't said yet, but I do want to really mention is that one of the big questions is about access. So who is participating in this work right now and who isn't? And uh, who are we missing uh, from the conversation and why is that? What blinders do we have? What borders might be sort of holding people out of the conversation uh, that we can begin to address with this kind of conference track? So that's really uh, the, the big picture goal for the, for the track. And uh, so it's, it's a big task, but I think what it does is it opens up opportunities for people to reach out to their colleagues and say, hey, uh, you know, let's move beyond our, our empirical findings a little bit and get into a discussion mode where we can say, okay, now that we know this, what might we need to know to move forward in terms of theory and practice? So would, would it be fair to say that this is a, about community building in the community of practitioners around youth voice and social change? 
Uh, I would agree. I think community building is a big part of it. Uh, and I think in the community building in the, in the sense that, uh, we need to think about who we're hearing from and who we're not engaging with. And then we need to think about um, how to be inclusive and what that means uh, in the world of digital media and learning. Is there anything that you would like to cite as a, an example, a success story in terms of using digital media for um, um, increasing social change with youth voice? Uh, well, I mean, I could refer back to uh, DML uh, 2013. <laughs> I think the, the uh, entire focus of that conference uh, really brought forward all kinds of successes. Uh, you know, I attended a panel with, uh, I think, that Lissa Soap organized, and uh, there was a big conversation about what was happening with Youth Radio and what was happening uh, with Youth Speaks as, uh, as an organization uh, moving that conversation out into uh, a really a broader public discourse and debate. So I think we're seeing successes uh, in those areas. And I think those areas may be um, a little bit niche oriented. So um, otherwise, I think a lot of the successes are specific um, to particular actions and movements that groups are taking. Um, and so looking at how to weave those things together more broadly, I think is the question here. Okay, great. I look forward to this. And, and thank you for your time, Angela. Thanks so much, Howard. I really appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you soon.